Greetings, fans and flamers. It is I, Cobra One, and this is Fair Game, powered once again by GameAnyone.com. Our target is, well, Evolution. Another Commodore 64 title, which you might have might have slipped underneath your radar. But no matter, we're bringing it back up. Here, your job is to evolve through six stages of life: the amoeba, the tadpole, the rodent. The beaver, the gorilla, and the human. And look, they do a little dance for you. Or something. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Uh, let's get this show on the road. Come on. Come on. Alright. You can choose three, any, one of three skill levels or practice any individual stage. I'm going to be going with beginner because I'm not that good at the game, I'll admit it. Anyway, you start off with the amoeba. Your first job is to collect all these little white flecks without being touched by any of these enemies. You can hold down the fire button to avoid the little homing shots that they fire off. But since it's on beginner, this isn't exactly isn't exactly the most dangerous you have a limited amount of how much dodging you can do though that indicated by that purple bar down at the bottom of the screen see after you complete this stage you get a bonus depending on how much is left Oh, that was fun. Now onto the tadpole, a decidedly tougher stage. Here, you have to catch flies as they fall down while, avo while avoiding fish swimming around. Don't ask me how you can only jump, but nonetheless. Just tap the fire button and you leap into the air. Just avoid being a fish dinner and all is well. See? Ugh. Anyway, you ha for this one, you have to gather a number of flies before moving on. Fortunately, they move in fairly predictable patterns. Oh, come back! Come back! It's two... For beginner, we just need one more, and there we go. Now on to my least favorite stage, the rodent stage. Why? Well, you only get three, let's say, traps to get rid of snakes that'll be following you. And you have to collect enough food pieces to get to the next stage. For beginner, that's five. Unfortunately, they do not make this easy for you. Oops. That's not good. Fortunately, they do let you keep whatever cheeses you've co you've collected. And you get a refill on all your traps. I'm going to say traps because I'm polite and I'm betting it's something else. The best thing to do, though, is to make a large square and get them to follow. You then move on to my favorite stage, the beaver stage. A multitude of crocodiles block off your path between you and the sticks you need to build your dam. So you need to collect it, swim back quickly, and put put it in place. And repeat. I like it because it's a nice little action stage. You can easily tell if, there, if you're carrying a stick or not by simply looking at the beaver um, about where its mouth would be. If you see a white dot, that means you're carrying a stick. If it looks all purple except for the eye, 
you have no stick and you need to go back and get it. And yes, that's a timer there. That runs out, you instantly fail. No continues, no nothing. Fortunately, the timer is rather generous. Oops. Ow. Uh. And onward! So what's next? The gorilla stage, where you get to fling coconuts at other monkeys. I'm not kidding. I hope those are coconuts anyway. Anyway, you have to prevent them from stealing all your oranges. If they steal oh, more than three, you lose a life. Your job is just to, well, knock them off their perches. Once you've killed enough monkeys, it's time to move on. Oh, that was fairly simple. So what is next, anyway? The human stage, of course. And, frankly, one of the more difficult stages. Those four squares are where enemies are going to be coming in, and you're to fire bullets, rebounding bullets, in all directions and avoid getting shot yourself as well as being avoid being rammed your job is to reduce that little white total up at the top to zip when it's all red you win naturally this is a lot harder on the higher skills Come on, one more, one more, one more. And there we go. For completing all the stages, you get an extra life, a small little cutscene after a little tooting. No, you can't prevent the jet from crashing, in case you were curious. And what's your reward? The next skill level. What's the difference between the skill levels? Speed and number of enemies. You'll note that there are more enemies, they move quicker, you have more to gather or more to collect before moving on to the next stages, and so on. But otherwise, yeah, it's basically the same game, just harder. In either case, this has been Cobra 1, Play, playing for you a nice fair game of evolution. Charles Darwin might be proud. Well, regardless, this is Cobra One, over and out. Thanks again for watching. See ya.